Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are joining Val in orbit rapidly as she is completing the last six hours of her human orbital one slash low earth orbit contract. Uh, we have done our first spacewalk. We have collected an EVA report but we did not transmit it home. No real point. We'll just uh, complete that one upon splashdown. And as she's coming into the last hour of this mission, she has five hours left on the record of two days in orbit. The problem with this being, of course, uh, waste, which this capsule we have upgraded with increased storage for poop. Thank goodness. Uh, carbon dioxide and, uh, and additional storage for that also. We've not even had to turn on our scrubbers yet. Uh, we do have solar panels available on this, though not while we are coupled to this stage, but it does not look like we are actually going to need them. Uh, we've got about 20 hours left to go, so I will be monitoring that electric charge while we are doing lap after lap after lap. <laughs> So we'll probably speed this up in post just to make sure that anybody here with epilepsy goes absolutely batshit. Yep, just 11 hours left. Can we up the... Oh yeah. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> I can only imagine how that's going to look anytime at all. Alright. Two days has been completed. Val is done with her two days of orbiting. Uh, we are going to wait until nighttime to make our descent burn so that we can come in somewhat close to the US. We'll probably be aiming to splash down someplace here off the Bahamas. So we should probably make our descent burn right around here. Oh no, what am I talking about? We need to do that way the hell over here. Yeah, that's 41. Uh, we should be fine with a terrestrial landing. 48. Yeah, no, come on. Yeah, 110, that's entirely too high. I shouldn't even be bothering with the maneuver nodes. Switch to staging mode. Why is that fuel tank showing up? And it just, it won't go away either. Yes, I, I know what's in this fuel tank. And I don't care. That's a happy little glitch. I don't know why that decided to show up, but alright then. Alright, we're about 17 minutes from our deorbit burn. Lots of fuel left in this stage. So, no real issues here. And I have no doubt that Val is going to make it home safely. But watch me play fast and loose with these controls and screw it all up and kill our only remaining pilot. And then I would have to hire another. Hmm. Yeah, I'm coming across nighttime. Alright, well, five minutes ahead should be enough to compensate for our rotation of the Earth. We don't really need to deal with that. Someone is walking in front of my house, obviously, because the dog's going crazy. I'm surprised the other one isn't joining her. I apologize. I'll keep trying to talk over it so that it mitigates the effect of the barkingness. Alright, and oh, very stable. Let's just go ahead and fire those up. Oh, not quite. 64. That should be well more than enough. Oh, man. Why are we rotating so badly? What is happening here? I'm, I'm just leaning on the controls. I don't know why we got so twisted there, but we're going to go ahead and decouple our staging. 
Alright, we should probably unlock the hydrazine. Oh man, we used up all the battery in that guy. That's good to know. Uh, hopefully this will be the last flight of this rocket, and the next crude attempts we can make will be more towards orbit, which would be awesome. Let me just give that a quick nudge to get ourselves clear. Oh yeah, that's that decoupler. Oh, no. Alright, and that has activated our AJ-10 stage, which is completely useless. I, I guess when I built this, I thought we were going to be able to make lunar transfers with it, and we're totally not, so... Stage that, and... Oh, I already hit boot. I did not attach these to an action group, did I? We're going to try to get back some of this electric charge. And just to see if maybe we can get a net positive. Because the one we do plan on sending out moonways has these exact same panels. It just uh, would require us to be in the sunlight. <laughs> Uh, before we start our re-entry proceedings. Seems like such a shame to discard uh, perfectly good stages like that. I'm going to tuck you over here where you're not in the way. And then fast forward. Hopefully we'll break daylight here any second now. No, we're going further into the dark. Okay, there's Atmo. We need to adjust. All right, and we will arm our parachute. It's the arming of our service module stage, which again has never been used. And we'll just go ahead and jettison that free. Unlock the HTP for this. Plenty of food, water, and room for waste product inside our capsule, which I totally should have checked before beginning reentry proceedings, but did not. Because, yeah, well, I'm just that good. Contract complete. Crude duration record of two days. That paid us out 60 grand of much needed monies. So, I will probably be fast forwarding through most of this, provided nothing interesting happens. And I will see you guys on shoot deployment. Woot woot. It would appear that bits of our parent spacecraft, oh, stupid freaking reserve chute snapped off again. Uh, well then, that's always interesting. But, uh, like I said, it appears that bits of our parent spacecraft actually survived, and while we did not make it to daybreak, I have no idea where we're coming down. Uh, would appear the Pacific, certainly. Uh, Hawaii's off over here, so I... The likelihood of us hitting land is slim to none. Not a problem, although this is our first nighttime splashdown, so sorry it won't be nearly as pretty as it could be. 
Mm. It's just the, uh, will our primary shoot deploy? Uh, every single time I set the information for this thing to deploy the secondary anyway at 3550, I just have them both go at the same time and they, this one somehow always ends up way up there. I don't really understand it, nor do I pretend to. We'll just uh, go ahead and fast forward a bit. It will be a hopefully super uneventful splashdown. All right. Um, four. Three thousand. There's the shoot. Thank God. Whew. Turn off RCS and SAS. And just let this thing coast in. Uh, resource panel is what I was looking for. Oh yeah, everything is well within threshold. Plenty of O2, water, food, carbon dioxide at a much m very manageable level and not nearly as much poop as last time. Way to go, Val. I'm glad you could hold it. And still a good chunk of that ablator left. And we hit full deployment. A somewhat gentle, quote-unquote, 6.8 meters per second for our splashdown speed. Which I don't think will be going down much, although maybe had we burned off a little more of this hydrazine. Let's tempt fate. Tempting fate. Oh, too much. Okay. <laughs> Not quite yet. Splash down. A bounce or two. Contract complete. Human orbital. One slash LEO. Paid us out. 22 grand. Not bad, not bad, Val. Way to go. What was the other one we were supposed to do? First spacewalk. Oh, uh, yeah. As soon as we collect the science when we recover her, we will get our payout for that. So let's, we'll go ahead and do that. Why not? I guess. Mm -hmm. EVA report worth nothing. Recovery of a vessel returned. That's 1.7. 3,000 for recovered parts. And Valentina gets uh, no XP gain. But we figured that was coming. So, why didn't I get that contract? Well, that's frustrating. I guess I should have just radioed it in. Anyway, on that disappointing note, we are going to end this episode. So, uh, thanks for hanging out. I will see you next time.